Adam. I know there was gymnastics. I know there was women's basketball. What all happened around Carolina Athletics? Huge week for women's basketball. Tar Heels Big wins. get two ranked wins, uh, which they needed on their resume as you get into the ACC play, which the ACC is really good. Tar Heels beat Clemson at home on Thursday, routed them 75. Man, that was Syracuse. Oh, yeah. What did I say? You said Clemson. They have played Clemson and defeated the Tigers, but you were thinking Syracuse. I was looking at the word Syracuse and yeah. said Clemson. That, that orange got me. I was yeah. just thinking about how classy Clemson is yeah. still. Beat Syracuse 75-51. to That was at Carmichael on Thursday. That was a good win, but then an even better win on Sunday as the Tar Heels go on the road. They go to Notre Dame. They win 61-57. First win ever at South Bend. There was a good crowd there, looked like. Uh, and India Navarre really good in that game as Tar Heels playing well in ACC play. India Navarre, 16 points, had 10 of them in the fourth quarter. So she played very well. Notre Dame, Carolina, this was a game where Carolina had a big lead. Then Notre Dame came back. Free throw issues. Yeah, Tar Heels were well below 500 free throw shooting wise in this game. Um, but really played well in that fourth quarter in particular to get the win. And that's that's a good win. That's what we were talking about the win carrying over for the men. Um, that's a good win that'll that'll travel with them the rest of the year. And what Tariel's three and zero now in conference action. Have wins over three good teams, Clemson, Syracuse, and Notre Dame. And we mentioned uh earlier in the show, Alyssa Usby had the first ever triple double in Carolina women's basketball history. She had a great game last week, so Tariel's rounding into shape perhaps as we get a little closer to uh, in the thick of ACC play where there's a ton of good teams. One piece of bad news, though. Yeah. Kayla McPherson, Adam, former pod guest, out for the year. She has just had so many injury problems and unfortunately has another one and is done for the year. Hurts the Tariel depth, and that's why a player like India Navarre will be so important. It seems like she will get more minutes now. Played really well in those minutes on Sunday. Tariels go to Florida State on Thursday. That's at 6 o'clock. I have never seen as many disapproving looks from fans as I did during that during that Notre Dame game. Like, they would show fan shot, and they just looked so sour. It was like, mm. Like, there was one time they were doing a review on something, and this lady stood up. She was like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Just like pointed at somebody out on the court. Tariel's made a couple plays they probably wish they could take back. Yes. Uh, but I did see the leprechaun. It looked like it might be the same leprechaun, but we'll mm. never know because we're not going Do we there. Not go to, we, don't, we don't go to South Bend this year? No. We make the rest of the northern arc of the ACC. Well, I think, like. I think the rule is that if Ben Alexander's blood is still on the carpet, you're not allowed to go yeah. back until it's fully cleaned. That's right. So that, may, that will not be this year. We may never return. We may never return. So, uh, but I saw that little leprechaun prancing around, mm. and I thought, you're going to be sad when India Navarre finishes this performance, and he was. Yeah. Made me happy. Gymnastics, quad meet. On, it was a quad meet. On Friday night, Jones already told us, watch out for Utah State, and, maybe. But, no, but they, they finished in fourth. So Ball State ended up winning the quad meet. Carolina came in second. Uh, Rutgers third in uh, Utah State fourth. The Tar Heels were really good on bars and on vault. Had a couple falls on beam. That beam is a fickle mistress. Beast. There, it's it, you just never know with the beam. And then Adam the floor, and the in my humble gymnastics opinion, that's an area where the Tar Heels can improve because I you can get big scores on the floor. And for whatever reason, the Tar Heels have struggled some in the last couple of years on the floor. So I'll be interested to see if that's an area they can show some growth this year. Lolly Decanoidze began her junior season with a bang, Jones. Do you know what she did? What'd she do? Huh? She threw down a career high 9.925 on the vault. Mm. We, she, she's a little spark plug. It's always odd in quad meets because the vault goes so much faster than all the other mm. events. So it's like whoever's on the vault is done in like seven minutes but like whoever's on the floor has only done maybe two routines at that point so it kind of gets all out of whack tariel's really 
Tarles are strong on the bars. They really did a good job bars wise. I think a big part of the floor is picking your music. Oh, uh, yes. I should be in charge of that. Mm. <laughs> we would be dynamic. Guys, some more Jimmy Buffett coming your way. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> now we're going to have a selection from the Outsiders album. Yeah, we're going to go to a deep cut, Eric Church, for <laughs> this routine. Uh, the Outsiders. Mr. Lucas, I don't want to do drink in my hand again. <laughs> that doesn't seem appropriate. I'm just saying the Outsiders would be a great floor routine song. Great. It's a good. It's a really good walk-up song. I know for a fact. Um, Tariel's now. So here's some confusing. Jones already told us Utah, not Utah State. Utah mm. is good in gymnastics. They are good. Well, the Tariels are going to Utah this weekend. Here's for, something about Dana Durani. She doesn't mess around. She will go and take on anyone and everyone. Well, hang on. They're going to Utah for a quad meet, but the other teams in the quad meet are Arizona, Boise State, and Nebraska. Okay. I'm not, trying to think if I know. Utah. Trying to think if I know that any of them are good. I'm just trying to think. I feel like Nebraska might be good. I don't know that for a fact. It sounds like this is cool. It's a it's an ESPN events thing, mm-hmm. so it's basically a bowl game of gymnastics. Um, and competition starts oh, look, at nine p.m. They do it at the beginning of the season. Yeah, like, imagine makes that. Sense. Competition begins at nine p.m. on Friday night. So as you're getting ready for that Syracuse home game, Tar Heel gymnastics. I'm watch it. Tariel's take on LSU, I think, later in the year. I'm telling you, they they aren't messing around. That, it's, they didn't get the result they wanted on Friday. That's look, minor setback for a major comeback. Adam. You've got all kinds <laughs> of just yeah. paragons look, of wisdom. Everybody gets knocked down, Adam. It's about how <laughs> fast you get up. I get knocked down, but I get up again. Never gonna yeah. keep me down. <laughs>